Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. And look at that, look at that. I, uh, yeah, I forgot something there. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> so basically, secret wall is, 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 I think about there. I think, I think, I think, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, just got to matched up with the map on the other thing. And there is a big green rupee. Heck yeah. There's also a little something something I forgot over here on the outside of... Yeah, that's a treasure map. Look at that. I was too busy running from the sandworms that I forgot to go over there. <laughs> So now I can officially use this jump down to get out of here. And uh, officially, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, so I didn't forget about the bomb thing with the sandworms also, it's just that it's a little bit faster to just run through them strategically than to try and bomb them, so that's why I kind of do it that way. Well, well, Link, you did alright, kid. Looks like you haul in another spirit, eh? To the Temple of the Ocean King, then. Yet, yeah, let's set sail! Yes! Alrighty! But, uh, we're not actually going there, this part. Because we've actually got some side questing to do! Remember, we've got some marks marked on our map here, and, uh, the first one I'm gonna go to is... This one right here. It's Uncharted Island. And we are going to flop over there as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we won't get tornadoed along the way, because that would be annoying. <laughs> Get out of my way, tornadoes. Ooh, Squiddy! You can keep shooting at Squiddy. This is an enemy, I guess you can call it, and it'll keep giving you rupees. Eventually, it'll split into multiple parts, and it will... It'll actually give you more rupees that way, because you'll be able to shoot more at one time. Up to three splits. Like, here, I'm up to two. But, uh... Eventually, it gets kind of hard to keep up with, and you run out of room on the sea, so... You probably need to move around quite a bit in the same directions and circles and stuff like that because they kind of follow your boat in a way. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run out of room here before I. Wait, wait. It, uh, what the heck is. Um, um, hold on a sec here. I, why didn't this thing get charted? Because this is the island right here that. Oh, there we go! What the heck happened? Who knew there was an uncharted island nearby? Oh! I only just ran into it! <laughs> I was waiting for that cutscene to happen and interrupt my squiddy shooting, but... I don't know! <laughs> well, here we are, at an uncharted island. It literally is called the Uncharted Island. There's no map or anything like that. But, uh, I'll explain how this works without actually having to draw out the map like they want you to do. Because you don't really want me to draw out the map on camera, do you, like I did the sun, do you? It would take me a while, so I'll just explain how this works as I go. So yeah, there's there's probably treasure here, maybe. So let's just take a look-see around here. We've seen this to start out with, and it's gonna be going like boing, but it won't have anything to say, which is interesting, isn't it? I mean, those things are known to talk a lot, but if you go to the center one here, it'll have something to say. Boing. On this isle, a golden chief dwells who can harness the power of sea cyclones. At his request, I am here to prevent just anyone from entering his chamber. You must prove yourself by hitting four of my buddies in a very specific order, like the one we've seen back over here. So, but to figure out the order, you must solve our island's enormous riddle. Ready to listen? The order is very specific. Okay, then. I'm going to say it. It steers with the rudder and makes spray. And third, it paddles and sees away. So, um, if you were to chart this island by actually drawing it out by, you know, the outline, you'll notice that it is in the shape of a whale. And uh, thus, I can actually mark this out without actually marking out the entire island. So, steers with the rudder, number one, makes spray. It's a it's uh, actually spraying out a water spout over here, which is about two around there, something like that. A uh, third, it paddles, which is directly below us there, and then four, it sees away, which is the eye that we seen when we came in here. Okay, okay, so let's take a walk, see around here, and explore these parts without having to actually map the felt. <laughs> get out of here, everyone! Get out of my way! Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna see. Ah, what are be around these islands 
partner pirate. Yes, <laughs> that was great English. Did you know there are gold frogs around the sea that can kick up cyclones? Yes, I didn't know about gold frogs, but not that they could kick up cyclones. Well, okay, I did. That was on other playthroughs, and that's why I started marking them on the map in this playthrough right away. Yeah! Aha! I think that's... Because I wanted to get their locations ahead of time. All mapped up. Oh, shoot! You started zapping immediately. <laughs> And I like how it's, it actually zaps the map as well, just to completely distort you. Okay, here's the spray. Notice that? See that? How it's going around thusly? Yep, it's actually spraying, and here is number two. That was a, that was a pretty good mark there I had. <laughs> Did you know there are six gold frogs stationed around the entire sea? Well, we've seen two of them, and there's one of them in this part of the sea as well, so we'll be able to grab that soon enough. I'm not going to hit that one. It'll mess up my ordering. Here is the paddle right here. Oh, I'm a little bit off on this one. <laughs> yeah, the number three is right here, not over there. Boop. So... Boing. Did you know the golden frogs will slip away unless you use a cannon on them? Yes, I did know that. And number four, here is the eye, which is hard to tell unless you chart it out, kinda. Uh, did you know you can fly to a variety of spots using cyclones? So convenient. Not that it matters to us, really. Yeah, you're kinda fixed to the ground. And that'll open up the way! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything... Well, I mean, yeah, I can check around here, but I don't think there's anything to actually get here. The I see something valuable that's hidden underneath its statue. Really? 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 Well then, well then, well then. <laughs> uh, what's over here? Let's just take a peek, see. Uh, that's something I can't do until later, because those posts are a later thing. If there's a chest up there, remember that for later. In fact, I should probably... Mark that, even though, yeah, <laughs> I just gotta hopefully remember that. Here's a bunch of golden frogs swimming around, and one ginormous frog in the middle, and it's also golden. <laughs> How's it going? Well, about my golden gizzard, a slow toe child. Whatever brings you here, slow toe, you stand in the presence of golden chief Cyclos. I'm so fantastic that the only frog hereabouts who leap by cyclone, slick, eh? <laughs> Slow toe, is that not the only... Is that not the phantom hourglass that you carry? It certainly means most certainly and undoubtedly that you know old Ashu's. Wait, we go way back, that old codger and me. You watch out for me until I found the safe harbor in the secret spots. So I guess look for the ghost ship. A girl named Tetsu was taken away by it. She's Link's friend. Ah, uh, ghost ship, you say? I've heard for that cheery vessel for my gift mi guilt minions. Do, ha do you have any notions as to where the ghost ship might be? In the fog. <laughs> Not a clue, yeah. First, well, okay, it's, yeah, it kind of disappeared. First, we need to save spirits that are scattered on the seas. Ah, but the sea must seem very, very vast for being such as yourselves. Vastly vast. Let me help with Gift Link. Behold! A thing that looks strangely like a Game Boy Advance cartridge, the Cyclone Slate. Use that at sea to travel by water spout. That is a Cyclone Slate. By drawing symbols on it, you can ride Cyclones too. Want to leap else around it with your ship and spring into action with the Slate. Could you tell us more about these symbols? A gift minion has strewn about over the seas. Six minions total, sparkling in the sun. Find them. Ask them. They know. They each know one symbol. And by drawing symbols on that slate, your ship will fly to that spot in a flash. Yes, we finally got a way to warp around. So all we need to do is meet the old golden frogs and learn their symbols. But are you really sure that we can take something so wonderful with us? Hmm, how can I just sit back and do nothing for you, friend of Ashu's? The sea is vast, and that will help bridge, help you bridge the distances. My deepest thanks, your golden majesty. No, no, that's golden chief. <laughs> uh -huh. mm, yeah, we've basically seen this before, just kind of reiterating. Okay, so basically shoot the frogs when you see them, and then draw the slate, I mean, draw on your map the symbol that they show you. Now, as for the map... Um, you know, where to dig on the eye, you know, in front of it. Well, what we want to do is go back over to that other one that was over here. Oh, I'm too low. <laughs> go to items, shovel, get that shovel out, dig right there. Look at that. We've got ourselves a treasure map. Yeah, baby. But we still can't get those X's. <laughs> 
Mm, did you find the treasure? Yeah, what the cyclone slit. Sounds like that'll make sailing a ble breeze. Let's keep our eye off of those gold-plated froggies out there. Yes, I... Oh! Ah. Yeah, I'll stretch our legs, get it, frog. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Alright, go, 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 I want to explore the other two islands that are around here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna loop around through the middle here because that is where another gold frog is. It's like right around there somewhere. But we'll see it when we come across it. Shoot the seagulls! Shoot the sea Oh, I missed. Get like this still there! <laughs> You're going down! Yes! You have no chance versus my cannon! Aha! I got one, but it wasn't really the one I was aiming at. <laughs> Alright, where's the frog? It should be popping up around here somewhere. There it is! There it is! Shoot, 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 shoot! Yes! Got it! <laughs> we got ourselves a war point! Oh, nice shot, buddy. The big frog spread the word about you. So you wanted to know what the jaw on the cyclone slate to fly right here? Here goes, pay attention. A ba uh, mirrored N here, so grab that. See charts, thusly. See that now we got a frog symbol on our map. Now I'm gonna draw that symbol on here, above that, perfect, and we are good to go. We can warp there as long as we draw on the cyclone slate in the future. Yes, I did. So that will most certainly save us time. Now over here at uh, Banan Island, also known as Wayfarer's Island, we are going to meet someone that we kind of already know to an extent. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Hello. But I'm not the Wayfaring Island. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? I'm getting just gonna boot you guys out of the way. <laughs> I'll take a peek see around here just for the fun of it. And let's just go in. <laughs> oh, I should have actually checked the sign. Hold on before I do that, because this will make more sense if I check the sign. Um Old Wayfarer's house. Doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Ah, this is the place for those who hunger for the romance of adventure! This is the Wayfaring Island, young man. So, go on, tell me. Did you find it? Um... Hey, now! You can tell me. There's no secrets between men of adventure. You came to this distant island and searched for the elusive beasts. The mystical creature that bewitches sailors from the waters of this island. You came in search of the mythical mermaid, right? Huh? What? What? Wayfarers must always be looking for adventure. In my search for the mystical creature, the mermaid, I sacrificed many of life's pleasures. Friends, family, good snacks. <laughs> I gave it all up. I search for the mermaid. Take this pool, for example. Hmm? That is where the majestic creature will lounge once I capture her. This pool cost me a hefty fortune for a man who follows his wayfaring heart. You are young with age. I have learned to... Ex Approach life's quest with passion. So, young man, if you see a mermaid, you tell me right away, weren't you? <clears throat> we men of adventure must stick together. So, uh, yeah, if you don't understand who this guy is, he is the guy that left um, that other island with his son and parents and everything behind back at the uh, southeastern sea. He is the wayfarer, and he is looking for a mermaid around places, and, well, well... We can't really do anything about that, can we? <laughs> so, let's just go over to this cave now, because I've got bombs, and I need bombs for this cave to get through it. And I'm kind of low on bombs, though, but that's okay, because we're going to be able to refill on bombs right away. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of pots right here that's convenient. Only those with the power to shatter rock will find a place to a new game! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Is it a new DS game? No, it's actually a mini game. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can refill our bombs. Actually, there should be more around here. Come to think of it, because uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because they know we got to use bombs to get through here. And well, they're not showing up, but whatever. That's fine. I don't need bombs to get back or anything. All right, this is familiar music back in the early parts of the game type music. And man, this guy looks Wind Waker familiar. Hmm, hmm, Canon Game Stand. <laughs> yep, it's a mini game. Are you ready to play? You better be! So you going to play or what? It's 20 rupees for a game for a game for kids, yes or no? Sure, I love this so much. Yeah, okay, let's see here. 
Ah, this game of skill takes place on the vast stage of the open sea. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Leap on board, prepare to set sail and raise anchor. On the horizon looms of blue targets. Man, the cannon, take aim and kaboom! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Splash bang! Oh, you obliterate the target, earning 100 points. Ah, uh, suddenly a red target sails the few. It fears nothing, for it can't be broken. <laughs> Every time you pound it with cannon fire, you earn 30 points. Wow! <laughs> yeah, so you, you get all that a while. Yep, I got that. The record is 2,500 points. I recommend that you tie that and not try to exceed it if you want to get unlimited ship parts, because after you get the prize here this first time, you'll be able to get ship parts from this uh, over and over again. Then if you tie your score or you beat it, you'll be getting another ship part over and over again. But of course, there's a limit to how many you can get if you keep beating your score. So that's why I recommend you tie the high score rather than just outright beat it. But I think there's a better way to get ship parts in this game. Anyway, but I do need to get do this game for something else, so let's get to rocking this thing. Yeah! Shoot, 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 shoot! Now, your biggest adversary is probably the camera, in all honesty, because, yeah, it kind of twitches around. You gotta keep shooting, you gotta keep adjusting the camera, and just keep your eyes focused on those targets as best you possibly can and just keep tapping them over and over and over again as quickly as you possibly can and rack up as many points as you possibly can because you will need to rack up the points during the course of this mini game uh, because well it's a nice upgrade to something something that we got to get here let's just put it that way <laughs> And there's also some spinning targets, which are still pretty easy to hit as long as you just shoot right at the middle of them. And it, But the moving up and down ones are a lot harder. Uh, yeah, you can see the ones that you shoot directly in the middle, those are the ones... Oh shoot, I almost resized the window there. The ones that you re shoot that are spinning, they are... You know, you, you can only shoot the center of them because there's always a center point to them. But the ones that are moving up and down move out of your grasp. And yeah, so just get yourself focused on everything that you can possibly get along the way and hopefully you'll be able to make 2,500 points. And definitely get the blue targets, uh, they give, they yield you the most points. I'm not sure if I'm going to get 2,500 points the first run through here, but we're going to see, I guess. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, we can get, ah, uh, we can milk this for all it's worth. Eh. Eh. Go, 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 five more hits, five more hits, five more hits! Oh, 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 oh! oh I came up short! <laughs> Not bad, you got, I got, also got an audio glitch, you got 2480 points! I'll give you a prize for playing. Pick a chest to claim it. Uh, I, I think it'll be a rupee prize or something because I'm not gonna get, uh, oh, it's a real ring. Yeah, it's not, not the thing that I was looking for here. Yeah, if you get over 2,500 points, you get a bomb grade, uh, bomb bag upgrade. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? It doesn't take too long to play, and it is pretty fun to play. So let's just do this for real days now. Actually, I was trying my best the last time, but I didn't flip around the camera enough to get myself enough points on the red targets. The red targets are probably among the most important targets, in all honesty, because you can shoot them repeatedly, and you gotta try and make the most of your time being able to shoot them. So as you can tell, I'm shooting the red ones until I can't shoot them anymore, then I move to a blue one, then I go over to the next red one, and etc, etc. That is my strategy, but don't miss the blue ones either. Um, Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all, actually. Because uh, the blue ones are still pretty important. <laughs> um, I'm going to really have to go turbo shooting now. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> I should probably focus on this one rather than that other one. The other one feels more like a decoy than anything. Because I, I can get more points off of this one than the one moving up and down, in all honesty. Go, 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 go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Go, shoot, shoot! Oh, okay, it's out of range, I think. So go to the blue one! Yes, go back to these red ones! Eh. Go, 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 go! Can't believe I missed the blue one, because that might actually make me have to redo this one again. Because it's it's pretty tight, let me tell you. <laughs> Can I get this blue one here? Because it's... okay. 
Just wanna get as maximized as possible! Ah! Hand cramping from all the tapping! <laughs> oh shoot, oh shoot. Yeah, this is a pretty bad run here. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna be it. Yeah. But, a decent second run for practice, I guess, though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. What do I get as my prize, though? Let's see here. Maybe I'll be able to recover my rupees. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> well, I'll actually be able to recover them later once I trade items for rupees, but anyway. Alright, here we go. Let's try it again. Alright, get that wrist loosen up because it's kind of cramping from all this tapping. <laughs> here we go. Great one! Go! <laughs> All right, focus as much as possible on shooting the targets. Do not waver on your shots, PK Gam. There is no room for error, apparently. <laughs> Do not miss targets. Get those reds, get those blues, every single one that you can hit gets. Yes, yes, yes. Also, move the camera ahead of time to try and get as much out of a target as you can. That was a good shot at the blue, so I automatically just ran over to the red because I knew he was going to hit the blue. Yep, just like that one there, actually. That first one there, I shouldn't have done a second shot to get at the most out of shooting the red, but that is okay. Ah. Now, this is kind of awesome to have a cursor on the screen here, because if I didn't have this cursor on the screen, you wouldn't be able to see uh, where the heck I am touching on the screen, because there's no fairy on the screen for where I'm dragging or anything like that. So you're actually able to see my performance in real time here. Uh, oh, 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 shoot, 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 get it as much as I can out of that one, okay. Get the blue, get the blue, get the blue, good. Get the red, get the red as many times as possible because they don't fear cannon fire at all. Yes, get that blue, get the other red. Come on, come on, come on. Get as many points as possible. <laughs> spinning, spinning, spinning. Go, go, go. <laughs> I think I've got it this time though. Yeah, I think I can hold off on the cannon fire once I get one shot. Actually, I'll do two shots here just to make sure I beat the high score just for the sake of... Um, just just to be fancy. There we go. I quit. <laughs> I like how they have sea traps there as the barrier in the middle of there, just like as assistance. And right now I'm adjusting my wrist because it's cramping up like crazy from all the tapping. <laughs> I shouldn't have played that so tensely. What? 2,520 points. That's unheard of. You get a prize for cannon excellence. Pick a chest to claim it. Now, it seems like no matter what you pick, you're going to get the bomb, grade, bomb bag upgrade. So I'm not going to save state or anything like that because it just seems like that I'll be able to get that no matter t and no matter what. But yeah, and I get a bonus prize! Woo! A rupee! So I got a little bit of recovery as well. No, I'm done here. I am done here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done for now at least because as you can tell on the map there is this stuff right there that's going along there. But I'll be back to the, uh, this island a couple times later anyway, so don't don't worry about it too much. Just remember it for later. Remember it for later. Okay. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I've been taking this long on this part already. It's been 26 minutes, but I'm probably going to cut out that second run because it was a, a failed run that I missed the blue target on. And yeah, just make it a little bit faster. It's a weird little islands like this to have treasure. Want to set sail, kid? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this last island that I'm going to be going to is, is, is going to be not really all that much to get, but I'm going to sail to it anyway just to sort of get it charted on my map because I've got stuff to chart on there and uh, I should actually do a little erasing here. Actually, I should actually probably keep an arrow here of sorts anyway because this is a terrible terrible arrow <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. that's a little better but yeah I want to keep an arrow to remind me to go back there later to that half of the island that's how I put it on that side rather than the other side and I probably should have uh, charted this a little straighter but that is okay I'll be able to rechart once I got a place to dock here behold that island is a mark in that church link, and it looks like we can talk there. Yeah, I've decided to go to your church. Why not set a course for it? My my voice got a little deep there for Sela. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> oops, whoops, 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 routes. I was gonna go to my map there for some reason. So we got question marks all over the place. It's crazy. <laughs> Enemy sighted. No flying fish today. I'm gonna have a fish fry. I, I, no, I vaporized it. No, oh, I'm not be, not gonna be able to eat it now. I'm I'm sad face. So so very sad. Okay, we've got like a double puzzle going on here as Zaus's island. So what we want to do here is mark on our map these little plates on the ground, like their positions. So we're gonna go there and well, actually, I should make dots rather than X's. I was gonna make X's, but that's a bad idea. And then we're gonna go there. I just hit down on the control pad that time. I should actually be using shortcuts like that instead of uh, uh, tapping the icons on the screen. I'm just kind of like a force of habit at this point. So you stop there. Put, put, put a dot right above where link is. I mean to do that. <laughs> that's okay. We got the eraser. The eraser tool on GIMP is quite handy. Got a little. I'm, I'm terrible at making dots, obviously. <laughs> okay, now on the back of here, we got a little hint. From the, find the stone tiles on the east and west of this island. Connect the eastern stones of the line. Do the same with the western stones. Dig where the extensions of those two lines intersect. Now, this is the part of the puzzle here. What you want to do... Well, actually, I kind of find it harder to do when I draw a line because I, I have difficulty visualizing it. Um... Like, I have an easier time just stopping at the middle of where the lines would intersect as opposed to drawing a line because my lines are, well, usually kind of iffy and I did not press down this time because, yeah, it's kind of hard to draw a perfectly straight line. So, yeah, they kind of intersect around there. I think it's actually a little higher, uh, like maybe around there. But anyway, what we want to do now is uh, get our shovel. And start digging around here. I forgot the exact spot though, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> it's somewhere around here, I assure you. I don't think it's on the path though. Uh, but I think it's around the path if I recall correctly. We're just gonna see here. It's not in front of the tree this time, if I recall. Um, oh, I didn't mean to cover that up. <laughs> it's Oh, there it is! There it is! It's a treasure map! We are getting them like crazy now. And it appears down over there. Now, for the other puzzle here, we've got a seemingly impossible jump. <laughs> to that, uh, yeah. But there is a way to get there. Oh, there is a way to get there. Aha! Grab a, a cuckoo and get ready to make your jump, for you can float across the gap! <laughs> yes! I got a wisdom gem for my trouble. Well, that wasn't really all that much trouble. All right, now I'm gonna go inside the place last because it's the only place that we have left to explore here and see what's up. Hello? Excuse me? This isn't working. Maybe you can't hear us. You don't have to yell, I can hear you, you know. <laughs> so you guys are on a big adventure in search of the ghost ship, eh? Huh? How'd you know? Humans always think that. Unless they say something, others won't hear them. Truth is, people talk just as loudly with their hearts. But people... <clears throat> but because people have mouths, they don't pay attention to their hearts. There is nothing I have to tell you now, Link. But there will come a day when you require my power. It is then that you should pay another visit to Zaus the Blacksmith. I was overly dramatic there. But yeah, I do have to come back here a little bit later on. So make sure that you remember this on your map for the future. And now that I've explored these three islands to the point that I would like to explore them, I think I'm going to end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I actually go over to the Temple of the Ocean King.